heading over to Junior's. We are going to uh, Peoria, Illinois today to go pick up a new engine for the four-wheeler. So we're heading to where, Peoria? Yeah. And right there is the Ford dealership where we both used to work at. Uh, man, I don't miss that place. I do. I don't. I mean, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, they had it on. We'll drive out to Peoria and back. We're picking up a, another motor for the Warrior. And then some of the parts out of the old motor are going to go to Chris so Chris can get his Warrior back together. Chris <clears throat> yeah, he took the engine apart like five or six years ago to rebuild it and put it together and then lost the timing components. He doesn't know what he did with them. He's also moved since then. So, yeah, we're just going to give him some of the old. Ooh. from Indianapolis to Peoria. There's nothing to see. That's a pretty neat bridge. That is. I forgot how like out of nowhere it goes from nothing to this. Yeah, so that was absolutely wild. I've never been to Peoria, so it's kind of weird. The last time I was here, I was at River City Diesel picking up parts of the That's Haggerty Steel. You know, I'd say so. We just got to hit three out of the four exits on this because for the second time today, Junior has completely missed his exit. I was staring at the bone. You were literally staring at the GPS that's right in front of you. You still missed your exit. Junior's not very good at following directions to get places. I swear a lot and I'm bad at directions. So we're heading back to Indy now. We just picked up an entire engine for the Warrior. Got a really good deal on it. it only for cheaper than what a bottom end kit costs. Yeah. And for now, we're just going to throw that in there, get it running again, and then... Shouldn't need much. Dude said it was running when he pulled it, so I should just be able to slap a carb on it and call it a day. Yeah. And then the motor that came out of the Warrior will eventually get rebuilt. Yes, because that's a good case. Yeah, it's not cracked around the chain guard area. That was almost a car accident. Um... What's your plan with that though? Hot cam, high compression piston, stock bore? It's supposed to have a hot cam in it. No, 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 not this what? one, the one you're building. Oh, that one? Yeah. It'll be a high compression piston, hot cams. Stock uh, bore though? It's going to get a high performance carburetor. Yeah, stock bore because it's stronger that way. I'll do a, probably do a stroker crank if I can get one. And then uh, high uh, performance carburetor, new jetting, and new uh, air box design. You going to go with one of the aluminum ones? Probably, and then I might do a wider axle on it, and then do some uh, wider front control arms, and do some shocks and stuff. Third time Junior missed his exit. This one only added 150 feet, though. It also added another 20 bucks to the swear jar, though. <laughs> Swear barrel, as Tyler so elegantly put it. Yeah, it happens. Literally, the first ramp you had to take. All right, so we got on the interstate <laughs> at the exit that he missed. And I'm like, hey, Junior, it's exit only. <laughs> he didn't pay attention, and we immediately just got kicked back off into the city and have to go back to where we just got on at. <laughs> oh, God. 
I should have drove. <laughs> Pay attention, you're turning here. No, I'm not. I'm going straight. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Thought you were turning there. All right, let's try this again. I don't think you can make that mistake this time. Don't underestimate my stupidity. I don't know how well it's going to show up. It's like a Junior's it's dirty windshield. Yeah, that's a brand new Ford Ranger. It's lifted. I have not actually seen a new Ranger with a lift kit yet. It's got a decent axle under it. Is that an F-150 axle? Uh, it's going to be narrow. about it is that they're only two three eco boosts. They didn't even put the two seven in it? Nope. They are eco boost only. Two threes. Well two sevens eco boost but it's the V6 that they put in the F150. Yep, nope. Four cylinder turbo only on the new Rangers. That's dumb. I would I would love to swap a two seven in that. Oh, it would fly with a two seven. Yeah they put them in the fusion sports too. Yeah. Well the three liter that's in the Lincolns are based off that. The four hundred horse, four hundred foot pound of torque three liter turbo. That's two seven based. I don't remember if they changed more or stroke. Probably a stroke, but that'd be the cheapest way to do it. Yeah, so, you know, it's cast a whole other block out of it, but I, I never had a chance to take one apart. I left before one of those came in for engine work. Yeah, that'd be cool, though. We made it back. We uh, got the engine back. I got it sat in the garage with him. I think tomorrow he's going to get started on getting that thing put in chassis and getting ready to get it going. I have to go over to Dad's tomorrow and help him do some work on the bus and uh, do some work on my sister's Mercedes. So I'll be messing with that stuff tomorrow. Then I might make it over there to help him do some work on the four wheeler, but. Fingers crossed, we should have everything we need. Maybe a couple gaskets we'll have to order. I'll have to see. But there's a chance we could have that thing running this weekend if we don't need to go get any parts. The thing that sucks is our local Yamaha dealer usually has everything in stock for Warriors, but they are closed Sunday and Monday. So if we don't find out before they close tomorrow, we can't get parts until Tuesday. 